Hey guys, welcome to another video and today we're here to talk about a company called the BitStation. The BitStation has been uh, putting out games for a while now and they actually sent me some games to show off to you guys. Uh, some of these games go from Dreamcast to actually the Game Boy itself. So uh, let's get right into it. guys so we're going to start to list off a of ghost blade a shoot 'em up bullet hell and you know the thing that drew me into this game is that i love shoot 'em ups that have to do with you being in space you know about i was always like really fascinated with astronomy back when i was in high school and i still somewhat am but you know like space travel is something i've always like hoped that we'd be able to accomplish so you know this game just was really like beautiful to me right away so as you guys can see from the action here, this game pulls no punches from the beginning. I mean, the action starts off fast paced. You got to blow things up and you got to make sure you clear those, the screen and uh, collect those points too, because you got to remember too, when, when it comes to shoot 'em up games, it's about that high score system and leaving your name in the system for people to remember you. This game has an awesome soundtrack too, really nice on the ears. And actually the soundtrack is actually available out there for you to pick up. Uh, definitely worth uh, hearing. And here are some of the boss battles here. The boss battles are actually a lot of fun. So the bosses really change things up. You got to be careful. You, you'll get used to their patterns, just like any other shoot 'em up game. But this is something about this game. It's just, oh my gosh, it's just so freaking cool that we have another Dreamcast game. You know, this game actually came out a couple years ago, but it went out of print. And I was able, I was lucky enough to get sent this copy by the Bit Station. Appreciate you guys. All the controls feel really good. Everything is precise. You know, uh, the way you, you attack in this game, you hold the button down and you do a charge shot like you're seeing here. And if you just kind of slightly push it, you know, you'll do like regular shots here and there. Uh, not, you know, something to kind of change it up, like you have your little spread shot and everything like that. I could be doing it wrong, but I can't really remember. But uh, yeah, here's my game over screen. I actually didn't make it all the way through, but I did make the top, top score. So that's what it was all about for me. I was happy with that. And uh, as long as you got a VMU, your score will always be remembered, at least until the VMU battery runs out. But that's a, that's another thing. <laughs> but anyways, guys, a ghost play definitely worth picking up. Uh, I had fun with this game. The game only complaint I know about this game is that people say it's short. Uh, I think it's wrong like around five levels, maybe six, if I can remember right. Because I did beat this game before, but just not this time. I was a bit rusty. So go pick up Ghost Blade. I mean, you won't regret it. I mean, it's, it may be short, but it's sweet. You know what I mean? Something you get into and get out of. So now we have some more shoot 'em up action with uh, Battle Crust. Uh, Battle Crust um, is one of those games. It's kind of like it really feels like it's built from the ground up. Uh, I really like this game. I like the whole like spaceship and uh, space thing. And in this game, you fight like against a lot of like weird robots and things like that. Uh, pretty solid game. Uh, from what I was told, though, someone had told me that the, the other there's an other version of this game that's on the uh, PC or Steam, and some people say that one's better, but this one's totally fine. Um, you can choose from three different ships, uh, all have different abilities, so that's your variety right there. Uh, as you can see here, the game is kind of like one of those slow-moving type of shoot 'em up games where you know, so things don't look too confusing. Um, I could, I'm more into like fast paced games, you know, I love that fast paced action makes really throw you in, but this type of how the pacing goes on this is, is a lot better. And here you can actually change the game into tape mode while playing the game, so that's a cool feature to have in this game. It seems really easy to get into, you know, uh, it, this is the way a shoot 'em up game should actually start off, you know, the levels, they don't really, the enemies aren't too crazy on you or anything, you know, you can kind of get a good feel for the game. And um, I just feel like this game, like the way it starts off is perfect for anybody who wants to get into shoot 'em up type games. This is the perfect game to start with. My first time playing this game, I was actually able to get pretty far in it, so I was pretty happy with myself. Um, the only feature that I don't like with a game like this, I, I, I just wish there was option for two player mode, but I, I kind of get it. This game was set up for one player, so that's totally fine. Maybe that makes things uh, less confusing because when you get two ships in there sometimes, you know, you don't know where, where, what's coming at you, what's a, what's the item you can use, or what's a bullet, you know what I mean? So it, it kind of could get kind of well, kind of weird, so I guess it's cool that it's one player. 
but the game just feels really good, really natural. It feels like it's not in a hurry, if that makes any sense. Um, just a really solid shoot 'em up. Also, too, uh, what, what I noticed helped me uh, keep playing this game is the excellent soundtrack. The soundtrack really just sets the mood for you, which I'm going to let you guys hear in a bit. Um, but the soundtrack, it just really kind of just really just kind of pumps you up, and makes you want to keep going. That's what I always say about a soundtrack in a game. You know, if it has a good soundtrack, it, it could really set the mood and just help you with like just keep you pumped up with playing the game. So, um, yeah, here's Battle Crust. Uh, I want to let you guys uh, hear a little bit of soundtrack uh, yourself and some gameplay. So check it out. So next up we have Alice Dreams Tournament. Um, that's a, a strange name, but still, <laughs> it's a solid game actually. So if you're a fan of the Bomberman series, uh, this is something you could definitely get into. Now, how this kind of is a little bit slightly different from Bomberman, at least in, from what I've seen, and I'm not really sure about it, but you actually could get you get a co-op partner to help you in the game. So you you pretty much have teams that go against another team, and the team with the less kills ends up winning the match. So. Um, and there's a, it's, it's kind of weird, too, because there's a lot of distractions that can mess you up in the game. Like, when you get certain items, you can forget the radius that your explosions have. You can end up taking out your partner. I ended up taking out myself most of the time. I'm just, like, I just forget, like, a lot of things in this game. So, But still, even though I was losing, I had a lot of fun with it. And if you're definitely a fan of the Bomberman-type games, this is something you could definitely get into. One thing this game really has going for it is it's really easy on the eyes, actually. You know, I like the way the sprites look in the game. They did a pretty good job with them, so... Definitely something compelling to play. Uh, check it out. Escape 2042. I definitely really wanted to enjoy this game more than I did. Uh, it's just, just too crazy for me. So basically, you're trying to escape some laboratory, and it's just full of booby traps. This is really insane. You have to put certain codes in to turn off cameras that have lasers, and just try to just try to escape. Uh, escape where? I have no idea, but the game is all over the place to me. It's cool that it's a, a new Game Boy release, but it was actually released on other systems as well, like the Genesis and Super Nintendo, I believe, as well. I decided to get the Game Boy version because I said, hey, you know, why not? You know, a new Game Boy game, but yeah. And finally, we have Ducks 1.5. So, um, this if you're familiar with games like R-Type, um, this this is be definitely right up your alley. Um, I'm not really good at the R-Type games. They they kind of like, I just, yeah, I just really suck at them. But this game I, I actually really got into, and I like the whole, whole thing with the shield in front of you, how it could block things for you, and it sucks up power, so you could like use like energy shots by absorbing like enemy fire. Uh, that's a really cool feature in this game. Uh, I did have some trouble with the boss a couple times, but I finally, on my last try, I finally got past it. Um, the game is actually really a lot of fun, guys. Definitely a good horizontal shooter that I think a lot of people will enjoy. It didn't seem too hard at first. It definitely seemed like the errors you make in this game are just, like, it's not, like, by design. It's pretty much, like, if you mess up, it's your fault. You just got to really pay attention in this type of game. Really a lot of fun. Um, I, as, as far as this video, I have only made it to the second level. But when I, what I did really enjoy it. I just ran out of continues. So hopefully for me, the way I get better at some of these games, I need to, like, play... Uh, a lot and hopefully they may, maybe there's some code that kind of gives you maybe some extra continues or extra lives or something like that that'd be really nice but I wanted to end this video with this game because this game is really solid definitely something I feel you guys should pick up I'm happy I have it in my collection now uh, check out ducks 1.5 and last up we have Wamanu this is a battle puzzle block game I would call it a grinding block adventure all right we'll just call it an adventure game so, pretty fun game. has a little cute story mode to it. It reminds me of, a, of another game. I can't think of it right now for some reason. But it's very fun. You 
pretty much just grab blocks and you push them against your enemies and and push them against walls until they disappear. Uh, pretty simple, very fun game. Looks very good. Le looks uh, really retro. Is what I really like about it. But definitely something you might want to check out. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I enjoyed all the games. Escape was a little bit weird. Maybe I could get used to it. It's just I just got the Game Boy version, so maybe I could have got the the other versions of the game instead. Um, but I just chose Game Boy because you know having a game like a new game on the Game Boy just I just was really cool to me. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I will be leaving a link to the Bit Station in the description. So if you want to pick up any of these games, you'll have that link available for you guys. Radical Reggie, and I will see you later.